So let me re remove the starter motor, which has been in there this whole time. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay, there's the starter motor. It's been removed. Do not have to take apart the transmission. I will when I install a new final gear, but at the moment it's not necessary to split the case. Okay. Rear shock absorber assemblies and swing arm is on 4-61. So let's go to 4-61, which is page 174 the digital copy and removing the rear shock absorber assemblies and swing arm we did the o2 sensor we did the muffler link gasket we did the o2 sensor the rear shock absorber left and right rear wheel axle nut number five um which was 24 millimeters which i bought last night okay so i took the engine put it on the floor I got this nice big breaker bar my friend let me borrow. Um, the tire spins, so I'm putting my foot behind it and trying to hold the tire still. And I went ahead and put the breaker nut on it and I just kept just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and I finally was able to crack it. Bring this back up. Okay. Okay, and there's a washer. So there's the nut and the washer. And then the swing arm. Um, bolt and a bolt. 14, maybe? No, too big. Let's go down to 12. 12 feels like it is. We're going to use Mr. Impact Wrench. Whoa, it wasn't even that tough. There we go. Boom. Swing arm. Yeah. Oh, there's the, okay. These are identical. Yeah, these are identical. Um, okay, there's a swing arm. We're gonna need that later. Okay, so we took the swing arm off. Let's go to 4-11, page 124, the digital copy. We took the swing arm, the brake adjuster, number one, and the brake cable, the compression spring, the pin. Did I remove the pin? Yes, I did remove the pin. Pin, the real wheel. We just take off the wheel. Whoa, watch the lap time. Yeah. And fuck, bro, I took the wheel off. Holy shit, dude, what am I doing? Okay. There's the real wheel. There's the brake pads. Brake shoe kit, number six. Okay, so got the brake pads off, got the tire off, got the swing arm off. I'm going to take the center stand off now. Oh, that's hella greasy. Oh, this is the brake shoe pads, tension springs I took. The plate washer, plate washer, which I need new. Was it stuck to the wheel? Plate washer, ah, it was stuck to the wheel, bro. Uh, that looks like a 10 millimeter.
Yeah. Okay. And then we take the lever off. Well, indicator. I'm gonna put that with the brake cable. Camshaft and O-ring. Number 11. I'm gonna need some new O-rings there too, in the collar. And uh, you push through from the back end to the brake side. Wiggle it through. Okay, that finishes the rear wheel. There's some O-rings in there. There's the collar I pulled out. And some O-rings that I need new. Huh, we're gonna leave that in there for now. I can't get it out. Ready to take off the center stand. We're on page 5-63 or page 243, the digital copy. We gotta remove the tension spring right here. I'm gonna try removing that bolt first and see if that helps. Eight millimeter. There we go. And did I lose the bolt? There's the bolt. Oh, it was Loctited in? Okay. Center stand. Okay. And then there is. Is that a 12? 12 millimeter bolt right there. And this is going to be 12 millimeter nut. So it's an axle that goes all the way through. I'm going to go hit it with the impact. There we go. Cracked it. Okay. There's a nut and washer on the oil pump side. Kind of lift it up a little bit. Pull the axle right out. There's the center stand right there. Shows a collar. It does show a collar. I see a collar. It kind of slides right out. There you go. It's just dirty and rusted. I'll leave it in there for now. It's just dirty and grimy and rusted and, but there's two collars on the other side. Okay, so we got the center stand off. Now we, following Dynamo's USA video, we can go ahead and start removing these four top bolts and four bottom bolts. One, two, three, four um to split the case so what i'm going to do is, he says it's eight millimeter crack that one crack that one crack that one page 5-65 or page 245 of the digital copy disassembling the crankcase remove the center stand and remove crankcase bolts um, it says loosen each bolt a quarter of a turn at a time in stages and in a cross pattern after all the bolts are fully loosened and removed them. I kind of did a circle, so whatever. Remove the right crankcase. <clears throat> Tap on one side of the crankcase with a soft face hammer. Tap only on reinforced portions of the crankcase, not on the crankcase mating surfaces. Working slowly and carefully and make sure the crankcase have separate evenly. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to label them. I'm going to label them. And some of them are different lengths. So it's a good idea I numbered them. Start hammering away. I got a soft little mallet right here.
hit only reinforced areas. I see it cracking a little bit right there. Let me roll, oh, roll it over. Some oil obviously gonna come out. I think it, I think it's done. Oh, okay. And then, <laughs> I still have this in here because I couldn't get it out. But I think I have a 19 millimeter socket now that I bought at the store. I can finally break that free. There's the crank. Here's one half of the case right there. I don't wanna break this point right here. Um, there's that. Timing chain. Why did that, why is that still there? Removing the crankshaft assembly, page 5-66 or 246 of the digital copy. Uh, step one, remove crankshaft assembly. Boom. Step two, the timing chain. Boom. That's the lower. Tip, before removing the crankshaft assembly, remove the timing chain from the crankshaft sprocket. The crankshaft assembly cannot be removed if the timing chain is attached onto the crankshaft sprocket. Okay, so let's set this aside. Okay, it's a five millimeter Allen wrench. Yep. Okay, five millimeter Allen wrench. And now I can remove the upper guide for the timing chain. Now I want to lift the chain off, off the gears. Okay, I got the chain off the sprocket. Boom, oh, holy snap. And that's the sprocket right here. I was trying to get the chain off. So you have to remove this so you can take the guide out, which allows you to wiggle the chain off the sprocket. Bam, bro. Holy shit, dude. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? And then Dynamo USA says we just go ahead and replace this seal with new one. How does it come out? Which I should have. There's a timing chain. Any kinks? Okay. And you see how there's the outside and then the inside has these little flat pyramids, these trapezoid. Is this a show? A little trapezoid thing. And you can see by the zip tie that that's the inside. So it's like that, and it wraps around. It wraps around right there, fits perfectly. Okay, so let's get this in a Ziploc bag, and it looks fine. There's no kinks or nothing in it. No more emissions. No more emissions. No more emissions.